Hey there. I have a very quick video on a, a brief introduction to scientific notation and how it works. You see a lot of people are going to go on in the sciences um, after taking some mathematics and, and you're going to get to, to see scientific notation, why we talk about it and how it works. Number one, why we talk about scientific notation, why it exists. Scientific notation exists to illustrate an easier way or a shorter way, an abbreviated way to talk about really large or really small numbers um, so that we don't have to write them, frankly, because talking about numbers in the trillions and, and, and larger than that, they take a long, a lot of space, lots of digits or numbers that are super, super, super small in the trillionths. We don't want to write a whole bunch of zeros. We lose the zeros. It, it's easy to do, easy to make little mistakes like that. And so instead of doing that, we come up with something called scientific notation, which is a way to use the place value system and the, the fact that we are a base 10 number system to our advantage. You see, we are a base 10 number system, which means that every time you move a place value, you get another power of 10. So in, in, a, in our base 10 number system, you go, okay, uh, from tenths to hundredths is 10 times 10. From tenths to hundreds to thousands is 10 times 10 times 10 or 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth, 10 to the fifth. Every time we move an additional place value, we get a power of 10. Or if we move the other way, we get a power of one over 10, or 10 to the negative one, 10 to the negative two, 10 to the negative three. Now that we know negative exponents, the idea is um, I can make large numbers look small by using 10 to positive exponents, and I can make small numbers look larger by using 10 to the negative exponents. And I don't want, I don't care about how they look, uh, but they're easy to work with. So what scientific notation does is it tries to, to abbreviate long numbers, whether large or small, long numbers, as one number, then a decimal place, and uses the number of place values as a power of 10. So we're gonna try this just four times, uh, just, to, just to show you how to do it. So uh, 57,200, 57,200,000, quite a large number, not huge, but, but a large number. What I want, I want this to end with 5.72. 5.72 is an abbreviated version. Now how to get there scientific notation. Every time I move, I move a decimal over. That's a power of 10. Place values are based on, on whatever base number system you are. We're base 10. So every time I move a decimal, I have 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So if I move where my place, where my decimal is, 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth, 10 to the fifth, 10 to the sixth, 10 to the seventh, I can actually have the same exact value if I say, well, wait a minute, if I move that decimal seven places to the left and then multiply it by 10 to the seventh power, that comes up with exactly the same value. So the idea is that when you multiplied by 10 earlier, you just moved a decimal place. We're using that same logic. I, I would want 5.72 times 10 to the seventh. That would move me seven decimal places back to the right. Move, multiply by 10, moves you one, two, moves you twice, 10 to the third, three times, 10 to the seventh would move the seven decimal places. It's just a different way to, to have the same number, but something's a little bit shorter to write. The larger the number, the more useful this becomes, or the smaller the number, the more useful this becomes. So I'm illustrating 57 million with 5.72 times 10 to the seventh power, because that would give us back all of those decimals I just moved out. The other way to go about it is with really small numbers. I want this to end with 3.42. We want one number, then a decimal, then all the remaining numbers. That's what we want. Now, scientific notation makes large numbers look smaller or small numbers look larger. It always has one digit, then decimal, then numbers, times 10 to however many place values you moved. That's a really small number. If I'm going to say 3.42, 3.42 is many times larger than 0 .000000000342. In fact, it's 10 to a negative power. This is 10 to the negative power smaller than that number. How many powers? Well, we count them. 
This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to get 3.42. 9 place value. I had to divide. I had to divide this number by 10 to the 9th to get back to that. I need to divide or multiply by 10 to the negative 9th. Remember what 10 to the negative 9th is? That's 1 over 10 to the 9th. That's basically dividing that number by 10 to the 9th. So what that's doing is that's saying, yeah, you know what? It's, it's not 3.42, but if you move the decimal nine places to the left, it would give you back the what number I'm trying to represent. Yeah, that's not 5.72, but if you move the decimal, because we're in a base 10 number system, there's a powers of 10 here. If you knew that decimal seven places to the right, it would give you back that number. Check these ones out. If I have 1.9 times 10 to the negative three, it's saying, yeah, you know what? The number you're really thinking about, it's not 1.9. In fact, 1.9 is, is larger than the number. Um, in fact, you know what? You'd have to take 1.9, you'd have to divide it by 10 to the third, or say, yeah, this is 10 to the third times small, uh, larger than what you really want. Move that decimal three spots to the left, fill it in with zeros, and you get 0 .0019. That is what 1.9 times 10 to the negative third means. It says this number is larger than the one that I'm trying to represent here. Um, I need to actually whew, multiply by 1 over 1,000. Yeah, 1,000, yeah, 1 over 1,000. That would, that would move our decimal three spots to the left. Uh, so using a base 10 number system, you're multiplying or dividing by powers of 10 to move your decimal place or to illustrate a number differently. We can illustrate large numbers with positive exponents, small numbers with negative exponents. Negative exponents represent small numbers. Positive exponents represent large numbers. 6.91 times 10 to the fifth says that's a lot smaller than the number I'm trying to represent. In fact, if you multiply by 10 to the 5th, that would move your decimal place 5 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 691,000. That's really what that number means. That is what scientific notation is. Scientific notation simply takes powers of 10 to illustrate the movement of place values. Large numbers are represented by positive exponents. Small numbers are represented by negative exponents. That's multiplying by powers of 10 or dividing. Negative exponents are a division concept. Divided by powers of 10. Negative exponents represent small numbers. Positive exponents represent large numbers. A lot of people understand this by moving decimals. So large numbers are decimal places moved to the right or to illustrate this concept um, of, I don't want you to really think, oh, I moved to the left, positive exponents. I want you to think of how can I represent this as 5.72 and then move the decimal that many places and get back to your original. So you'd say, how many times do I have to move back to the original? Uh, well, maybe one, two, I'd have to multiply by five to the, or sorry, 10 to the seventh. That's seven places to get back there. How many places do I have to move from here to get back to the original? Nine spaces to the left. That's negative, that'd be dividing by 10 to the ninth. That way, when you see these, it makes a little more sense. This takes a decimal place and moves it three spots left. One, two, three, point zero zero one nine. This takes a decimal place and moves it five spots to the right. One, two, three, four, five. One, six hundred ninety-one thousand. Next time, we're going to talk about some operations with uh, scientific notation and get into some word problems where it might be applicable to you. See you for the next video.